A telegram, Doctor. Thanks. Dear Doctor, by the time you read this, you would have saved Rhodes Island and its pitiful residence once more. All according to my plan. You would have won many hearts and minds by your humanity. And yet you will remain a shell of your true powers. You are kept on sanity potions, meant to dull you and limit your actions. For the only thing they fear more than zero sanity is perfect, infinite sanity. And so you're written like a joke, a weakling, a pervert. Endlessly compared to me and handpecked by Calcit. I will come back when you need my power, when you are stretched to your breaking point, when you will finally draw a sword. But for now, a change of pace was imminent. Her death was powerful, wasn't it? For someone who could barely climb stairs, you carried her dead body all the way to Rhodes Island. You will live a life that would not be possible for me, and give ourselves a homeless befitting of the one thing really alive on that battlefield. In the middle of reading this sentence, Ami will come in and hug you. She's had a bad day. Pat her head, hug her tightly, and tell her it'll be alright. Remember this moment, because it will become one of our most treasured memories. After she dies. Be well, your superior half, the Doctor. Hot cocoa and six marshmallows? Seven! Please? Okay.